Why couldn't the bicycle move? Okay, guys, we are back. This is part two of how to insert sprites into your game. Uh, obviously, Pokemon games and ROMs and stuff. But anyway, enough of that. Let's just get started. So, remember, if you haven't watched the first part, you should really watch it. We created the 64 by 64 dimension sprite. And after doing this, you need to da download, or download, or if you already have it, another program called Unliz, Unliz, U-N-L-Z, G-B-A, Unliz G-B-A, I just call it. I'll put the file for this on my website. So if you guys need it, then I can, I'll put it there and you guys can download it. What this does is, for any sprites that you'll ever need to put onto your game, this is where you'll do it. Even for other things that are not Pokemon sprites, like the background of the, background of the title screen and other things like that. So what you'll need to do is open up your ROM, the one that you want to change the sprites in. Uh, yep, it says this. Mm. And now that we've finally loaded up, uh, Pokemon sprites usually start at, as, wait, I think it's a bit before this, at 668. This is where they start. This is where, obviously, Bulbasaur the first in the Pokédex. This is where it starts. So, we might as well uh, change Bulbasaur while we're here. Firstly, we start off by pressing Import, which is importing our sprite. And now, we find our, our, our finally fully edited one, our fully prepared one. And um, when, it, when it comes up, Yep, just make sure everything's okay still. You press right to ROM. Now, what you do is you export image, auto abort if new data is bigger, and you press OK. Make sure only those two are selected. Press OK. Now, I'll go through this, um, you know. Uh, if, this, if this hasn't happened to yours, then I'll go through that again after this, and I'll... Well, basically, you just don't need to do anything. But look, let's just say, okay, look, compress size is 2B0, which is too big, aborting. Now, if we just left that, the whole thing would not work because it's aborting it. So let's just write down this compressed size because this we just need to take some extra steps to ensure that we can, you know, find out that it is... B O. So now we can uh, take some steps to find out how to stop that from being too big. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm still a bit sleepy. Okay. So now I'll put this other program on here as well called Free Space Finder. Now, as the name suggests, we're trying to find some space on our ROM that we can use to insert this sprite and its unique palette and things into. Now free space finder is loaded, we of course open the same ROM that we're using. Try not to get your ROMs confused, you know, otherwise you'll just be finding space for nothing that you even need. Okay, so now I've loaded up my ROM. Now we search from the beginning of the ROM and we, this first box would be des, would be dec, which stands for decimal, and the second box is hex. And this, this number that we got is in hex. So if we, uh, if we press find, and then type in 2BO, type in 2BO, that O is a zero, by the way. And then we take this decimal number and copy and paste it into the needed bytes section. Then 
it should this then this offset should now have the space to hold our sprite. So now that we've done this, we can go back onto on this GBA. Right right to ROM again. This time don't forget to leave the two zeros. Paste the offset in and click automatically fix pointers. Then press OK. It should say pointer found at random number and it should say changed. And then press OK. After doing that, press right to ROM again and this time instead of exporting image and automatically fixing pointers, press export palette. Then press OK. Now that we've done all of this, I will open Visual Boy Advance and see if this has worked, which it really should have. I'm trying to show that I'm that I've actually done it and you know that I've actually wrote wrote the ROM in because I have noticed there's been a lot of, I say a lot of, a hundred views worth of controversy in my Pokeballs video, and that is my next, uh, next on my list. I'm going to sort out that Pokeballs tutorial. I'm going to go over it, see if I've written something wrong in the script. You know, apparently I've scammed the Pokeball script off somewhere else in the game, but I'm going to go through my old script, go through my old tutorial, see what's going on. I'm just going to make sure that. Uh, that I can post a script that will work for you guys in FireRed, okay? Okay, I'm not sure if you guys want me to play through. No, I've not even got a load anyway, so I guess you guys are just going to have to quick time watch this while I just, no, I'm not very, not very quickly zoom through the game. Here we go. If you don't mind, I'll probably edit this bit out. But uh, this is proof, you know. I'm not taking any shortcuts here. Why would I do that? What would I benefit anyway? Okay, so uh, game's finally started. My VBA is really slow for some reason. I think I messed around with some of the options too much and now it's just uh, even when I try to zoom it it just goes really slow. Okay. So Okay, let's see now. Hopefully the Pokeball that Bulbasaur is in, the sprite has been changed to uh Cranidos without a background. Which one will you choose for yourself? Uh, but oh, sorry, that's Squirtle. No, I've not decided Squirtle. I'd rather have Cranidos! Yes! Okay, it's worked. Zoom in, and uh, as you can see, there's no weird colored outlines. The green is nowhere to be seen. I know that Oak still says Bulbasaur, that's something you can sort out in your own script. And this is how you insert sprites into your game. Yeah, Bulbasaur. Dun -dun -dun. Wow, Bulbasaur, you look really cool. But <laughs> if a couple of other things is um, that uh, that's obviously, a, you have to think sprites are just sprites. It's not like a 3D object. It's not like you can just turn it around and there you go, you still have everything. Blah, blah, blah. So what I'm trying to say is the background of the sprite, so the Pokemon's back, it'll still look like Bulbasaur, you know? If you want to change that, then flick through on this GBA after, you know, after number 668 and look for Bulbasaur's back sprite and then change that with Cranidos's back sprite. Basically follow all the same steps. So I think if you can see here, he sends out his Charmander, and my Bulbasaur will actually look like a Bulbasaur because I've not changed the back. But because I've changed the palette, the colors have changed. But of course, if you change the back, then you might not need, you won't need to export the palette and blah blah blah, etc. etc. So there, that is how you insert sprites into your game. I hope that has been very helpful for you.
and I hope you've learned a lot. I'm sorry I had to do this in two parts, even though it might be really long. I'm not sure. But, you know, thank you for listening. It's been Advanced Map Freak, and I'll be back with another tutorial. So why couldn't the bicycle move? Because it was too tired. <laughs>